Hey, what's up guys, Mike here, and this is the quickest way to put Franco Kernel on your Nexus 6. He does have, a fa in fact, an app on the Google Play Store. You just type in Franco Kernel. It will take you to two different versions. You can get the free version, which is just going to let you install the kernel itself and will keep you up to date with the latest versions. You cannot control the kernel in any way with the free application. You will have to buy the premium version, which is roughly $5. In order to control the kernel itself, you can change the CPU frequencies and other things specifically through this application. So it's very nice that you can control it and it does in fact keep you up to date and tell you what to do from there on out. It's a very nice auto flash and reboot is all integrated. So it will do it and download the latest version and just reboot your device for you, as you can see here. And once it reboots, it will be running the latest kernel. And I mean, that's pretty much it. As long as you are rooted and you are running a, any specific ROM accordingly, you don't even really have to be running a ROM, but I do recommend that you do have a custom recovery in case anything goes wrong beforehand. But uh, obviously, it's one of the simplest ways to put a kernel on your device. Instead of using Flashify and flashing a custom kernel, which isn't that hard either, but this one is just nice because it keeps everything in tip-top form because it is going to allow you to see which updates are available and it's going to update within one button. I mean, it, you just can't beat that. There you go, latest version 3.10.40 R3 and you can see a change log and everything right here. Bug fixes, improvements. His cat is now 15% smarter, all right. But yeah, I mean, really, really great little app. Definitely recommend that you support the developer and buy the premium version. That way you can control the kernel accordingly if you need that specific functionality or feature set and you want to be able to underclock or overclock your CPUs or GPUs or anything like that. But that's pretty much it, guys. The easiest way and easiest best kernel out there, in my opinion. And you can actually go in settings and check it in your settings as well. It will be right here in the kernel version. But that's pretty much it. Till next time, peace.